Welcome to Control Engineering Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain static error constants. So this session is all about static error constant. And in this session, I'll be explaining three different types of static error constants. But before that, let us go back to the basic background, which is there with static error constant. So basically, when we apply a signal, standard signal to a control system, there is a possibility that steady state error that may be zero, that may be constant or it may be infinite. So basically, when we say like we give signal to system, steady state error may be zero, may be constant and it may be infinite. And that is what depending on two things. One is it depends on type of system and it depends on type of input signal. So basically there are two, three different types of static error constants that will be justifying steady state error. So in next sessions, I'll be explaining steady state error based on different type of system. But before that, we need to have basic understanding regarding static error constant. Now basically there are three types of static error constant. One is positional static error constant. Second is velocity static error constant. And third is accelerative static error constant. So basically there are three different types of static error constant. Positional error constant, velocity error constant and accelerative error constant. So when we want to calculate positional error constant, basic formula for that is kp that is what the notation of positional error constant and that we can calculate by limit s tends to zero g of s h of s so by this formula we can calculate positional error constant where g of s is open loop transfer function gain and h of s is feedback gain so based on limit s tends to zero g of s h of s that will result into positional error constant to calculate velocity error constant it is noted as kv we need to calculate limit s tends to zero s of g of s h of s so by s of g of s h of s we can be able to calculate velocity error constant and to calculate acceleration error constant it is noted as ka we need to calculate limit s tends to zero s square into g of s h of s so by calculation of limit s tends to zero s square g of s h of s we can be able to calculate acceleration error constant now see kp kv and ka these three elements that is very useful to calculate steady state error so that is very useful to calculate steady state error and in next sessions i'll be explaining how to identify steady state error based on kp kv and ka and even i'll explain you steady state error based on types of system so we will be calculating steady state error based on type of system using positional error constant, velocity error constant and accelerative error constant. So this is what the case which I'll be explaining in next session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to calculate steady state error based on different types of input and with different types of system. So that will be the next session. And you can suggest me those videos which is required to complete control engineering. Definitely I'll try to help you out by placing videos here. Thank you so much for watching this video.